Mathematics 2. Counting coins and paper bills. Objectives. Reading and writing money in symbols and in words. Compare values of different denominations of coins and paper bills using relation symbol. Philippine coins and pesos bills differ in value. Here are the peso bills we use in the Philippines. 1000 pesos. 500 pesos. 200 pesos. 100 pesos. 50 pesos. And 20 pesos. Here are the coins that we use in the Philippines. 20 pesos. 10 pesos. 5 pesos. 1 peso. 25 centavos. 5 centavos. 1 centavo. This is the symbol for centavo. This is the symbol for peso. This symbol is used to separate the centavos from pesos, it is also read as and. For example, we say, 60 pesos and 55 centavos. Second example, we say, 220 pesos and 75 centavos. Third example, we say, 540 pesos and 50 centavos. When two zeros are written after the decimal point, it shows that there are no centavos. For example, we say, 60 pesos. Second example we say, 100 pesos. Third example, we say, 20 pesos. Fourth example we say, 160 pesos. When zero is written before the decimal point, it shows that there are no pesos. For example, we say, 50 centavos. Second example we say, 25 centavos. Third example we say, 10 centavos. Fourth example we say, 75 centavos. Writing the given amount using the peso sign or centavo sign. For example, the first example is 60 pesos. So we need to use the peso sign. Write peso sign then write 60. Look at the second example. Read it as, 75 centavos. So here in the second example we can use the centavo sign, then write 75, or you can write peso sign then zero and dot and write 75. It's just the same. The third example, 125 pesos and 60 centavos. In this third example you write first the peso then centavos. Write peso sign first then write 125 and its symbol for dot. Then write dot then write 60. No need to put the centavo sign after the 60. Did you get it? Try this on your own. Ready? Try this on your own. Ready? Comparing money. To compare money, we use the relation symbols. For greater than. For less than. For equal. When two values are equal, we use the equals sign. For example. First example. In the left side we have 75 pesos and in the right side we have also 75 pesos. They are both 75, so the answer is equal. Second example, they are both the same 500, so the answer is equal. 
third example, we have 90 pesos and 75 centavos in the left side we also have 90 pesos and 75 centavos. Hence, the answer is equal. When one value is smaller than another, we can use a less than sign. For example, in the first example we have 45 pesos and 55 pesos. The answer is less than. 45 pesos less than 55 pesos. Look at the second example. We have 170 pesos and 75 centavos and 190 pesos and 75 centavos. The answer is less than. 170 pesos and 75 centavos less than 190 pesos and 75 centavos. The third example. We have 570 pesos and 590 pesos. The answer is less than. 570 pesos less than 590 pesos. When one value is bigger than another, we can use a greater than sign. First example, we have 876 pesos and 786 pesos. The bigger number is 876 pesos. The answer is greater than. 876 pesos greater than 786 pesos. Second example, we have 80 pesos and 70 pesos. The bigger amount is 80 pesos. The answer is greater than. 80 pesos greater than 70 pesos. Third example, 245 pesos and 235 pesos. The bigger amount is 245 pesos. The answer is greater than 245 pesos greater than 235 pesos. To remember which way around the signs go, just remember. Big, greater than small. Small, less than big. Try this on your own. Ready?